this is Scott Buchena at Mobile World Congress 2018 and I'm talking to Dan Faulkner from Nuance. So Dan, can you start by telling us what big trends you're seeing at the show this year? Sure, we're uh, seeing two or three key trends that are emerging. There's um, uh, a huge amount of talk around digital transformation. Um, so really, most operators trying to unify how they serve subscribers across all the different touch points, social, web, voice, and do that in a consistent, more intelligent, more modern way. Um, and we're also seeing a huge amount of talk about AI, um, somewhat related. So people are using AI technologies to uh, try and address aspects of that digital transformation. Um, and candidly, uh, our view on that is that the market's pretty early. It's good that there's a lot of talk about it. There's lots of pockets of, you know, good starts, but the state of the industry, I think, is is pretty early uh, in terms of the application of AI. But it's definitely the right direction for the industry to be moving in. So um, I think I agree with you. Uh, it does seem does seem quite early, but there is a lot of talk about it. Um, your company specifically, what does it bring to the table in this context? Well, so Nuance is best known um, and originally known as a speech and language technology company. Starting from that core, we've built out um, a, a full suite that addresses uh, what we call conversational AI. We think it's useful to specify that because AI is such a massive term. It's being applied to almost anything that it's become almost meaningless if you just say, you know, do you do AI? Conversational AI is the set of technologies and techniques and data that's needed to help a machine have a full conversation, a rich, knowledgeable, deep conversation uh, with a subscriber. And that's valuable because it means people can get served more quickly, they can get served over the channel that they want right away. Um, and that means things like understanding what they've said, um, understanding what that means, and understanding what that means in context. And that could mean the long-term context of that individual as a subscriber, but also just the context of the conversation that you're having. You need some kind of long-term memory and short-term memory to be able to do that. Um, and then it also means being able to literally drive a conversation. So if uh, the machine detects that somebody hasn't provided a piece of data that they need to to complete a certain task, we need to be able to recognize that, notice it, prompt them at the appropriate time and in the appropriate way so that they can complete their task. And those things are impossible to hard code. You, you need a system that's flexible and robust and, and adaptable. And a lot of, of our AI that we've developed over the past 20 years or so before it was being called AI and it was just being called statistical learning or data-driven models um, is, is, is based in that core capability. Um, over the last year or so, we have been uh, expanding our AI into a product that we announced last year called Nuance Loop. And Nuance Loop is a, um, a data analytics platform. And the goal of that is to uh, learn how to monetize subscribers in a way that is going to be actually useful and beneficial and helpful to the subscriber and not to feel like they're being hit up too often to, to buy something new. Uh, and so we've been quite successful doing that over, over the course of this year. We're now addressing 700 million subscribers daily with that platform and, and generating new revenues for the carrier. Okay, so you, you've, we're here at Mobile World Congress. You've touched on operators a few times in, in, in your previous um, answer. Can you tell us a little bit more about why operators should be interested in what you were just describing? Yeah, I mean, the customer life cycle for... Uh, a subscriber is long, hopefully, for the operator. Uh, and in principle, uh, the operator should know that subscriber very well. They've got lots of information. Um, they should know something about what services they like, what device they have, whether they're high value, low value, something about where they live. Um, and it's just very clear that on legacy infrastructure and legacy networks, all of that information resists, uh, exists in a very siloed way. Um, I, we, we've yet to talk to an operator who says, yes, my data strategy and my analytics strategy is, is in tip-top shape. And because it's siloed, 
the operators are missing an opportunity to be able to aggregate it all, get a common single view of who that customer is, then to use that data to drive the whole customer lifecycle. So how they uh, acquire customers, how they monetize them, how they care for them and retain them and keep the NPS score high. And so it's just a massively sub-optimized ecosystem. And when you look at the categorical competition that the operators face from some of the large platforms, the large high-tech platforms and OTT guys, they're much further ahead. And so I think it's actually kind of existentially important for operators to bring the, uh, the data story up to speed and to bring the customer engagement story way up to speed and quickly. I think they need to treat it with urgency. Yes, yeah, I agree with you on that one as well. And um, I guess just to finish off, um, can you tell us a little bit more about what Nuance does specifically in that channel um, to help out these operators do what you just described? Sure, we, we have a customer engagement platform at the highest level. We think about those three stages of customer acquisition. So identifying good customers, winning them, bringing them on board, um, then the care and retention, and then the monetization. And so we have a suite um, that, that addresses all three phases of those. And in common across that suite, we are using AI in two ways. Um, the first is in our virtual assistant platform, um, which we call Nina. And Nina allows uh, operators to engage with their customers in an automated way. Um, so chatbots, um, web self-service, IVR solutions, mobile self-service solutions, uh, anywhere where a customer can either speak or type in and start a conversation, we, want, we, we can conduct that conversation in a deep and useful way on behalf of the operator. Um, and then the second way that we're doing it uh, is through Loop, which is more about the monetization side of things. And what Loop is always trying to do is recognize who a subscriber is and then uh, figure out, is now an appropriate time to put an offer in front of this person? If so, what should that, what should that um, offer be? Uh, and, of course, very frequently the answer is no. Now is not a good time. People don't want to constantly have offers, but it's got to be timely and relevant. It's got to be delivered over the right channel. So, so that's the second area, uh, technologically, that we've been really focused on. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you.